today my friends we're making a homemade ancho chili liqueur and it's actually so simple we're also gonna have time to make three delicious cocktails with it so if you guys are ready let's spice up your cocktail game first you're gonna separate the seeds from the flesh of your dried ancho peppers i feel the seeds tend to give too much heat to the liqueur so we're gonna infuse them separately that way we can rectify the heat after if needed so once you've trimmed about two or three peppers, you will weigh 25 grams of dried ancho flesh in small pieces. Place them in a sealable glass jar and add to this 300 mils of white overproof Jamaican rum. Next, you're gonna close the jar and set it aside while we make the seeds infusion. Again, you simply weigh your seeds and add to this 10 times more white overproof Jamaican rum by weight. That bottle was clearly not enough, but don't worry, I always have another one around. So next, all you have to do is to leave that infusing at room temperature for two weeks, giving a little stir every day or so. After two weeks, as you can see by the color of the liquid, the flavors are very well infused in the rum, so it's time to filter it. But before, a little smell test. Oh, <laughs> that's promising. So for the filtration, it's pretty straightforward. Using a very fine mesh strainer or a coffee filter, you separate the solids from the liquid and save the pepper flesh for later. Now, as you can see, the pepper swallowed a little bit of the rum, so I like to top it up to get back to our initial 300 mils. And don't worry for the flavor, this thing is very powerful. Next, you will need to add 175 mils of 2 to 1 simple syrup by weight. This is a very thick and rich syrup that will be quite hard to dissolve, so I recommend you use sous vide or a bain-marie to avoid any evaporation. After a little stir, you're done and all you have to do is to bottle it up. Remember our Thai basil and orange liqueur we made a couple of weeks ago? If you don't, link up here. So I'm gonna bottle my chili liqueur next to it. Apparently I will need to put some in another bottle. And I'm gonna need to use that one pretty fast because that's the bottle I want to put my yellow chartreuse in shortly. And that's it. This is how I make my Encho chili liqueur. Now we also have to filter our seeds tincture. So like with the first one, you simply filter it through a very fine mesh strainer or a coffee filter and bottle it up in a pipette bottle. That way, whenever you want to add a kick of heat to your cocktails, all you need is a few drops of it. Lastly, before we make the cocktails, let's prepare a garnish with our infused flesh leftover. Place them on a baking sheet and spread them evenly. Throw that in the oven at 80 degrees Celsius for about one hour or until they're completely dry. Then you simply powder this using a spice grinder. The flesh isn't that spicy anymore, but it has a beautiful funky rum smell with a hint of pepper taste. I like to pass the powder through a fine mesh strainer to get a uniform fine dust, but this step is totally optional. I just think it makes for a better looking garnish. Now we're ready to put that liquor to test, so let's start with a fun spicy pisco sour. First, in a cocktail shaker, you're gonna add two ounces of pisco, three quarters of an ounce of our homemade chili liqueur, one quarter of an ounce of liquor 43, half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. If you want a bit more heat, simply add a few drops of our tincture to taste. Then you will add one egg white, fill your shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. I know dry shake versus reverse dry shake can be a bit controversial sometimes. You do what works best for you and don't judge. Since I'm doing a reverse dry shake here, I'm going to strain my cocktail in my shaking tin, dump the ice and shake it again, dry this time for an additional 10 seconds. Now we can fine strain this in our favorite cocktail coupe, and lastly, garnish with a little bit of our chili and rum dust. And this, my friends, is how we make the spicy pisco sour. Now let's give it a try in a stir drink. Let's make the funky pinky. For this one, you're gonna start in a mixing glass with one ounce of white overproof Jamaican rum, one ounce of our Encho Chili liqueur, and one ounce of Fren and Branca. You're gonna fill your mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions or for about 30 seconds. Once you feel it's properly chilled and diluted, strain it in your favorite cocktail coupe, and we're gonna garnish this one with some drops of chili oil for extra mouthfeel, aroma, and some extra heat. And this is how we make the funky panky. Last but not least, let's put the liquor to test in a fire whiskey sour. In your cocktail shaker, you will add two ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of our homemade chili liquor, 
quarter of an ounce of marsh canola liqueur and three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Fill your shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Then once again, fine strain the cocktail in a coupe. Garnish this with a few spritz of absinthe and one marsh kino cherry. So my friends, this is it, how to make a homemade chili liqueur and how to use it. If you want to keep track of all the recipes on the channel, join us on Patreon. Every month I share a new cocktail ebook with all what we've covered on the channel the month before. So again, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.